सो हेलो गाइज वेलकम दिस वीडियो इज़ अ कंटिन्यूशन ऑफ माई प्रीवियस वीडियो सी सी आर फेमराइजेशन इन माई प्रीवियस वीडियो आई शोन यू ऑल दी आइटम्स एंड आई एक्सप्लेन यू इन डिटेल मैनर सो इन दिस वीडियो वी विल सी ऑपरेशन ऑफ लोडिंग एंड डिस्चार्जिंग ऑल फ्रॉम सी सी आर स्क्रीन्स और फ्रॉम पुश बटन्स सो ऑल दी न्यू बिल्ड शिप्स और दी एडवांस शिप्स दे हैव दिस फैसिलिटी ऑफ ऑपरेटिंग लोडिंग एंड डिस्चार्जिंग ऑल फ्रॉम सी सी आर सो आई एल बी शोइंग यू एग्जाम्पल्स ऑफ डिफरेंट डिफरेंट शिप्स एंड डिफरेंट डिफरेंट पैनल्स हाउ वुड वी ऑपरेट लोडिंग एंड डिस्चार्जिंग वॉल्स सो लेट स्टार्ट बिफोर प्रोसीडिंग टू वेरियस रिमोट कंट्रोल पैनल्स फॉर लोडिंग एंड डिस्चार्जिंग आई वुड लाइक टू शो यू फ्यू थिंग्स सो दैट वी ऑल हैव सेम लेवल ऑफ अंडरस्टैंडिंग बट इफ यू जस्ट वॉन्ट टू सी दी रिमोट कंट्रोल पैनल्स फॉर लोडिंग एंड डिस्चार्जिंग यू कैन क्लिक ऑन दी टाइम लाइन एज मैंशन बिलो सो एज यू कैन सी ओवर हियर इन साइड एनी कार्गो टैंक देर आर टू लाइन्स विच आर कमिंग वन इज डिस्चार्ज लाइन विच इज ऑन माई लेफ्ट साइड एंड वन इज ड्रॉप लाइन विच इज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड एज लोडिंग लाइन विच इज ऑन माई राइट साइड so now we have seen inside the cargo tank if you would come out from the cargo tank and just above the cargo tank if you would look you would find that at pump stack area you can see this drop line this is this line is going inside the cargo tank this drop line is there only till above the cargo tank or it's only there till pump stack area the other line which is discharge line in this case over here this line is going towards the manifold so all the point i want to emphasize over here is that only one line from each cargo tank only one line will go towards the manifold and this drop line is only there till pump stack area that's it so before explaining the ccr screen panels i've tried to explain them on paper first so that we understand better but if you just directly want to go to ccr screen panel you can see that time mentioned below and you can proceed directly so guys for better understanding or for simplification i have uh, drawn three different samples of ccr panel or three different lineups which you can possibly encounter and uh, we'll understand this first and then we will go to the ccr screen panels and then we will understand those so for simplification what i have done is we will assume that we are port side alongside we are using a single tank this is one starboard cargo tank just for example you can assume any tank but for this example purpose we have assumed that this is one starboard cargo tank and before starting i would like to tell you over here is drop valve is the meaning of drop valve is loading valve or the the valve which is used to load then discharge valve is for discharging so let us just assume that if we are discharging from this particular uh, ccr panel and that is one starboard so always remember this that if you ever see this symbol that means that is pump so if we are discharging from this uh, ccr panel what we would do is first we will start the pump the cargo will flow over here we will open the discharge valve then the cargo will flow over here and it will go in both the directions this direction and that direction so we as we are not loading we will keep this drop valve shut so the cargo will stop over here it will come over here it will flow in this line go to the this side and it will go on both side port side and also starboard side normally on manifolds we have manual valves we don't have uh, hydraulic valves on manifold so we will open this manual valve and let the cargo go from port side if we are port side along side and the cargo will always be coming towards here but as this wall on starboard side manifold it is shut then the cargo will not be flowing over here the cargo will be stopped over here and the cargo will be passing through port side manifold so this is very simple the or very basic one and uh, just to summarize it i would write over here for discharging what we have to start is pump then discharge valve we have to open discharge valve and we have to open port side manual wall so these three walls we have to open in case of discharging from this first example now if we have to load for example if we have to load from this port side manifold what we have to do is open this manual wall so we will open port side manual wall the cargo will come over here cargo will come over here cargo will come it will go to this line also and it will go go to this manifold also as this manifold valve will be shut the cargo will come over here come over here and we will keep this discharge valve shut so if we keep the discharge valve shut the cargo will 
enter to drop valve and we will open this drop valve and we will load the car uh, for here we uh, loading we have to open this port side manifold valve and drop valve so this is an ideal situation now if you go to second ccr if for example on a different ship here what we have to do is for example if we are discharging start the pump the cargo will come over here this is drop wall but the drop wall is not directly coming in between the line so we don't have to worry about it this is discharge wall open the discharge wall let the cargo flow again it will go on both side port side and starboard side now we have assumed that we are discharging from port side so we'll open this manifold and the cargo would pass over here so here also we, for discharging what we have to do we have to start pump we have to open discharge wall and we have to open port manifold wall now if we are loading over here so what we will do is open port side manifold wall the cargo would come over here it will go here and it will go here but this manifold wall is shut so the the cargo will stop here over here or it will stay over here then as there is, as this line is open it the cargo will come over here now for loading here we have to open the discharge wall so the discharge wall will be open and the cargo will come into drop line we will open this drop line so in this particular case what we have did is we have opened both discharge wall and drop wall both so in for loading here we have to open port manifold then loading wall or as we call drop wall and also discharge wall so this was the catch over here in the previous case we have just opened discharge wall and did the discharging for loading we just open manifold wall over here the cargo came and we open drop wall and we keep this discharge wall shut but here for loading we have to open this manifold wall let the cargo come and we have to open the discharge wall and also open the drop wall so here both of the walls to be open in case of loading but in case of discharging only discharge wall to be open then there is example for third type of ccr here what we have is for discharging we will open uh, or we will start the pump open the discharge wall the cargo will come over here open the master wall sometime it is called as line master or sometime just called as master wall or main wall uh, different names are there we will open this the cargo will flow over here the cargo will also flow to the drop line or drop wall but as this wall will be shut the cargo will not be passing over here so the cargo will just flow in straight line will open this port side manifold wall and the car and we would do discharging so here what we have did is we have started the pump open discharge wall master wall and manifold wall so this wall is not there on all ships the i have seen on very few ships this master wall this is an extra wall like for example on other two ships we have only two walls drop and discharge sometime the drop is behind the discharge wall sometime the drop wall is uh, after the discharge wall but over here we have an extra wall that is master wall now for loading what we have to do open the port side manifold wall the cargo will come it will also come over here but as this wall will be closed it will stay over here it will come over here we have to open the master wall keep discharge wall shut and open drop wall so the cargo will come over here and we will load through drop line so that's about so in loading we have to open port manifold master wall and drop line so as we have understand this now it will be very easy for you to understand on ccr screen or ccr panels different different panels this port side manifold it was just an example if you are alongside starboard side you will open starboard side manifold and you will keep this shut so the cargo would come over here and you can discharge from here if you are loading you would load from uh, the cargo will come from here and it will go towards you so hello guys welcome this is our example number 1 where we have cargo hydraulic wall remote control system so whenever you go on ships this is a normally called as vrcs system in short form so this is our cargo remote wall control system and uh, always on any ship you go any panel you see it will be numbered from forward to aft so this is forward number 1 tank number 2 number 3 4 5 so in, in sequential order from forward to aft all the tanks will be numbered on any ship you go it does not matter so so you remember this naming this side this is port side this side is starboard side to simplify for you 
I'll just make a line I'll right over here. So this is port side and and this is starboard side. So this so all these tanks will be numbered as port and all these tanks will be numbered as starboard. So this is like one port, two port, three port, four port. So like these these tanks will be numbered. So in the on this ship we have till eight number of cargo tanks. So sometimes this eighth one or the last one is sometimes also called as slop tank. So same on the starboard side also. Here also it will be numbered as uh, one, two, three, but it will be called as one starboard, two starboard, three starboard, four starboard, five starboard. So now one more thing. This area over here is called as manifold area where our shore hose or loading arm will be connected. So this will be called as port side manifold. Here this will be called as starboard side manifold. So now with respect to that, there is one more information that it is a requirement that both the side of manifold have equal number of lines. So like it cannot happen that here we have 16 lines, here we have 15 lines. So both the side will have same number of lines. And now one more thing that from each tank you will see there is only one line going which is being divided into two port and starboard. So this line will be like this is one port, this is one starboard, two port, two starboard, three port, three starboard like this. Till eight wings we will have line on both side, port side and starboard side. So now we are ready with our basics. So now we will do discharging from any one tank. So let us just assume that we are discharging from one port on port side. So what we will do, we will start the pump. So this symbol, whenever you say this symbol, this means pump. So I've already explained this on the paper. So this symbol, whenever you see this means pump. So how will you discharge from this particular tank is you will start the pump, the cargo will flow. This is our discharge wall over here. The cargo will come over here. It will go to the manifold. It will come to this line and it will go on both side on starboard side and also on port side. So now it depends which side manifold you open the cargo will go towards that side. So if you keep this manifold shut, the cargo will pass through here. So the, the discharging is very pretty much simple. You start the pump, open the discharge wall. So this is discharge wall. Pump will start, the cargo will flow over here. The cargo will flow over here. The cargo will also go over here. But this is our drop wall. We will close our drop wall. We will keep our drop wall shut. The cargo will pass through here. It will go towards both the side of manifold. Whichever side of manifold we open, the cargo will be discharged from. So now same thing if you want to discharge this one port from starboard side same thing start the pump open the discharge wall the cargo will flow from here the cargo will flow in this line it will flow it, then it will flow in this line you just have to trace the line keep this manifold wall shut keep this manifold wall shut and you can then you can trace the line the line is also coming over here so the cargo will flow from there till here you open this manifold wall and the cargo will be discharged from here starboard side let me just show you one more example from one starboard if you want to discharge again same thing start the discharge pump open the discharge wall keep the loading wall shut this is our loading wall keep the loading wall shut start the pump start discharge wall the cargo will flow over here it will go over here and this is our one starboard line this was one port now this is one starboard so it is on both the sides so if you will open this the cargo will be discharged from here if you keep this shut the cargo will come over here if you open this manifold wall the cargo will be discharged from here so it just depends you have to just trace the line and the cargo will be discharged simply so now we'll see loading in tank one port so how will we load if there is a hose connected at one port the cargo will come over here we will open this wall the cargo will come over here in this case also the cargo will flow to the other side of the manifold but as our this manifold will be shut there is no space for the cargo the cargo will start flowing towards the wall which is open here in this case we have to open discharge wall so in loading here in this particular uh, ship on this particular ship we have to open the discharge wall so we will open discharge wall the cargo will flow over here and the cargo will be load from this drop wall so we will open this drop wall also and the cargo will be loaded so this is about loading in this ship so now let us see how we operate these walls from ccr now to open any wall on this uh, 
panel over here there are two buttons given left and right and a trackball is given so this is just like a fixed mouse like just how you have in a computer so what we will do to open any for example now if you want to open this drawer i will click left and it will show three option op open shut and exit so i'll click on left click open now you can see the drop valve is opening so four port drop valve is open now if i want to shut this again left click on this valve again open shut and now i have to click right and i'll close this so now you can see the drop valve is shut again for discharge valve click left on the valve you have an option open now here the discharge valve will open in percentage 25 50 75 100 so that's how it opens if i want to shut it again out of these three options i have to click on stop and again click stop again click stop again click stop so it will close 75 percent 50 percent 75 percent and 100 percent that's how the discharge will be closed so guys this over here is a second example where you can see these are the cargo tank one port two port three port and like this till slop port and same on starboard side one starboard two starboard till slop starboard and in between they have a residual tank now because this particular uh, loading and discharging panel is occupying full screen so i won't be able to explain you manifold arrangement because on this ship the manifold arrangement is different so that is why i'm just going to zoom in and now we'll be able will be able to see only one two and three number of tanks because i want to explain manifold arrangements so i'll just zoom in now. so now i've zoomed in so you can see only three tanks over here three port and till three starboard and this is our manifold arrangement you can see this is our port side manifold this is our starboard side manifold there are two things which are very important here you can see at manifold like in our earlier example we only had one wall at manifold but here we have three walls plus a line master for each tank so this is an important thing the second important thing over here is as you can see one port cargo tank and one starboard cargo tank they both have common line this line is a common line for both tanks this line is going coming over here and it is getting divided here one port and here one starboard so basically those are just a single line so this is the difference like in our earlier example we have single single line for each tank here for a one set of tank we have one line like one wings have one line two wings have one line and three port three starboard this also has one line so this was the important point which i want to tell you now we will do loading and discharging on this type of panel we'll see how will we load and discharge on this kind of a panel so let us see first discharging of one port so as i told earlier like this simple whenever you see this means pump so what you would do to discharge one port you would start the pump this is discharge wall you will open the discharge wall the cargo will flow over here keep this heater wall shut so the cargo will flow over here also keep this is drop wall in one port you keep this wall shut the cargo will flow over here and it will also go to the other tank because the line is common one port and one starboard here on this ship so we'll keep discharge wall shut we'll keep drop wall shut so the cargo will go there and it will now it will go to manifold so here when it comes to manifold you can see over here there is one wall so this over here is called line master this number wall number 115 this wall is common for one port and one starboard this wall as you can see the line is common this wall is also common so you will open this wall the cargo will flow both side port and starboard so from wherever side whichever side you want to do discharging if you want to do discharging from here you will open this manifold wall if you want to do discharging from this side you would open this manifold wall now we would do loading of one port now let us say we are loading from here so what we will do we will open this manifold wall the cargo will flow over here also we will keep this manifold wall shut the cargo will come over here we will open this line master the cargo will flow over here the cargo will flow over here we will open this drop wall and that's it the cargo will flow inside the cargo tank one port cargo tank we will close we will keep this discharge wall shut for one port we will keep this discharge wall for one starboard shut and this discharge wall shut because the cargo will also flow over it. now let us assume that this is two port cargo tank and we have connected shore hose over here now we want to load two wings and one wings from this same hose so how would we load over here is the cargo will come from here we will open this manifold wall now there are two crossovers one wall number 124 wall number 125 you will open this the cargo will flow over here 
and now the wall the cargo is in crossover line so the cargo will flow over here it will go over here this is one wings crossover wall number 123 122 we will open this do not open this manifold wall because we don't want the cargo to go that side we will keep this shut so the cargo will come over here and again it will come back over here so then we will open this line master wall the cargo will flow over here and same thing if you want to load on both the tanks we will open this wall number 15 over here so that the cargo can go we will keep this wall number 001 or the discharge wall shut same over here we will keep this drop wall wall number 16 open and keep this wall number 002 shut the cargo will so this is how we will load in one wings and in two wings the cargo will be coming over here same we will open this wall number 116 this is line master for two wings the cargo will come over here same thing same like one wings open the drop walls wall number 117 uh, sorry 017 and you would do loading inside the tank keep this wall shut keep here this wall shut come over here and open this wall number 18 and the cargo will be loaded in this tank so this is how we use this crossover line so same is the case for discharging if you want to do discharging from one wings through two port or you know two wings manifold how would we do is so now for example if you want to discharge this one starboard from two wings manifold how would we discharge it? same start the pump the cargo will flow to discharge line keep this drop wall shut the cargo will flow over here it will also go to the other tank keep the other wall other tanks wall shut discharge and drop shut the cargo will flow over here open the line master wall the cargo will flow over here now if you will keep this wall number 101 this port side manifold wall shut the cargo will come to here wall number 122 open this wall number 123 open this the cargo will come over here and this is crossover line so you will so that you will see that the cargo is flowing over here now you can open wall number 125 wall number 126 the cargo will flow over here and if you will open this wall number 103 you can see the cargo is going to through two port manifold the cargo will also flow over here but you have to keep this man this wall uh, line master wall shut and this wall also shut so the cargo will be over here but if you would open only this wall and this line master and starboard side manifold wall you will keep it shut the cargo will flow from here as this panel is big so it will not be very comfortable to explain loading and discharging from this tank and showing the manifold area so hence just for easiness will be i'll be showing you loading and discharging from the midship tanks so that we have a clear view on manifold area so i've as I've told you earlier also, so whenever you see this symbol, that means pump just for your uh, knowledge. But here the symbol is little bit different, but that also this symbol also here means pump only. So let us now start loading on five port. We'll first load in five port, then we will load in five starboard. Then we'll do discharging from both the tanks one by one. So over here, they have shown the manifold area here. So this is port side manifold. All these connections are port side manifold and all this is starboard side manifold so now let us see discharging from five port man five port cargo tank so first we will start the pump the cargo will flow over here the cargo will flow over here we'll keep this is drop valve we'll keep our drop valve shut so the cargo won't go over here we'll continue discharging the cargo will flow over here and if you would trace the line you can see the line is coming till here so the cargo will come till here now if we are discharging from port side manifold the cargo will flow here and we will open this manifold wall and then the cargo will go out from there and we'll keep this manifold wall shut so this is discharging from five port now again if, if we are loading from five port from port side manifold only we will we will open this manifold wall the cargo will flow over here we'll keep this wall shut the cargo will flow over here the cargo will flow over here and in this case we have to open the discharge wall we have to open the discharge wall then only the cargo will be able to pass and then we will open this drop valve and then the cargo will be loaded from here so this is the diagram we will open this the cargo will flow over here we have to open the discharge valve and then the cargo will be loaded into five port so in this particular ccr these are spring loaded push button walls means unlike our other screens where i've shown you that those are operated from mouse these are spring loaded push button so you have to press them to open or to shut for each tank like for discharge wall there are two buttons shut and open same for drop wall there are two buttons shut and open the green light you can see over there which is lighted that means those walls are open 
so for example this is one port discharge wall this is open yes you can see the green light same for two starboard you can see that is green light that is open but now in case of two port you can see below the shut button there is no light neither below that uh, open button there is any light so that means the bulb is fused for that particular tank it might be open it might be shut so this is how it is for so now here we'll see for example shutting and opening of walls so for example this valve is open if i want to shut this i'll press this shut button close the flap same for nine starboard if i want to shut this is also open drop wall I'll, if i want to shut this i'll press the shut button and i'll close the flap and i'll wait so it is just a general practice that do not press too many buttons at the same time otherwise you might get hydraulic uh, pressure low alarm in a vrcs system so we'll wait for this light to get ignited below this button of uh, nine port and nine starboard so that is just like an indication that our walls is properly shut or properly open or whatever uh, command we have given so now i'm waiting for nine starboard now the light is there below the shut button i'll so now in same manner i can continue giving my command one or two walls at at a time not more than that so that's it for part two of this video in the next part i will show you different different cargo monitoring panels so that will be a very small video so just to make you familiarize with different different types of model i will show you ccr cargo monitoring panels and different different high level and overfill alarms so that's it we'll see you in the next part